This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. How are you doing? Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are on our way to Chard. In fact, we're actually around the corner. Um, we're only about two miles away from our delivery point. We have a full load of Chep pallets. Uh, and oh, I've, <laughs> I've actually just remembered. I completely forgot about this. I've got a net on the back of my trailer and um, there was, there's nowhere else for it to go. I'm not gonna put it on the catwalk and I'm not gonna put it in the truck. So I had to stay on the trailer. And we've got four load of pallets. So what we've had to do is on the back, the very far back ones, I've had to ask them to put it onto one side so I can squeeze my net down the side of it. What they do on, on the back pallets, they sort of put them around the, the other way, if that makes sense. I don't know why, but they do. They, they twist them around the other way and then you've got a gap either side. So what I've done is I've asked them to move it over to one side, the, the driver's side to be precise, so my net is on the left-hand side of the rear of the trailer. I've then got two straps going through the pallets over the net and hold the net on. <laughs> I've just remembered about that. Um, we've been driving for two hours and 15 minutes almost, and it's nearly nine o'clock in the morning. I, if truth be told, I probably should have started work a little bit earlier this morning. Uh, we probably should have started an hour earlier. We've, we've now got to the stage where we are quite pushed for time. I know exactly what I'm doing over the next couple of days. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Obviously, we've got to get back home as well. And also where we're delivering tomorrow, they cut off at about three o'clock. So we need to make sure we get there for three o'clock. But I've got, I've got the entirety of today to do, and then I have to get loaded ready for tomorrow as well. So I know already that we are pushed for time, uh, which is not ideal, but it's partly my fault because I obviously started later than uh, I ideally would have wanted. Um, and that's it, there's no other reasons. <laughs> it's just me, just my fault. But uh, it's down to me now to see whether I can um, recoup that time back somehow. Uh, if traffic is good to us and kind to us, then we should be okay. But um, yeah, I know exactly what we're doing over the next couple of days. So we've got to deliver this to Chard, uh, which we are just around the corner. From here, we've got to go to Tetsbury, and uh, then we've got to do a delivery in Cheshire, near Chester. Uh, it's a bit of an ask, but that is the aim for today. Uh, if we can't get it off today, then obviously it'll have to get off in the morning. But ideally, preferably, it'll be off today. Then we've got to go over to High Ten and Bootle, uh, we'll get loaded with mesh and take that down to High Ten and Stains. That's what we've got to do. So it's not a lot, but there is a lot of diff uh, distance in between the two uh, or three spaces, deliveries. So um, yeah, we, uh, we do have to get a move on. At your uh, this guy recognised me, is he? Hello. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, are you doing alright? Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Have a good nice day, mate. You, yeah. you too, bye bye. Sorry. Um, hello, whoever you are. <laughs> nice to see you. Right, turn green, come on, let's go. Okay, so yeah, look, full load of pallets. Like I said, all the way over to the back. And then you will see on the back, look, on this side, they've got two straps going through the bottom of the second bottom row, which then leads leads to my net here. So that's what we got on. Anyway, let's go see someone and give them the paperwork. Right, so I have uh, I have had a little look. I couldn't find anyone um, inside the little door area. Or well, actually, tell a lie, I did see one person, but they sort of drove off. <laughs> Um, someone else has just passed me in the forklift, so I just asked him, I said, uh, Hi, mate, don't you suppose you know who's going to tip me? And he said uh, he's going to go and find someone, so that's all good. Right, what I'm doing now, uh, I'm just prepping my um, strap area so I can put the other straps in. Won't be a problem. Yes, we need to wash the truck. It's Thursday, it got really dirty Monday and Tuesday, and I haven't had a chance to wash it yet, so... Is. Right, let's go take these, uh, I'll take the ratchets off, listen, wind the straps up now. The best invention man has ever created. 
where would I be? Where would I be without the trusty strap winder? <laughs> time it saves the time it saves especially when you've got a couple of days like this lined up where you want to get off as quickly as possible i mean if i can get all these straps off then um they can start unloading me quicker can't they so oh my god this is the third time i've come here i know this place is called pneumatic i mean just realized it's the henry hoovers there's a bloke there with Henry Hoover's on the uh, on the pallet. That's pneumatic, isn't it? Right, we're in a situation now where all the straps are undone, but no one's actually come out yet to unload us. I have approached someone who said he was going to get someone, but uh, no one yet is uh, is coming. A different forklift driver just drove past and said, "Do they know you're here?" I said, "Mate, I said I've said I'm here to one person, and they said they were going to go speak to someone, but..." No one's come out and said they might know me, but they might not, I don't know. So he just sort of nodded his head as if to say, okay. So I think he's, he's potentially now going to go with the, find someone as well. I want to get on, do you know what I mean? I just want to get on now. So yeah, truck is dirty. Standard. I'm, um, I was hoping to get to a truck wash, but... I think because we're tight against time, might not be able to. If we do get this off later on today, and we do get the Cheshire off, then I think tomorrow on the way down to Staines I might get the truck washed, because I should have a bit more time, but we'll see. We've got truck wash in the yard as well, obviously, but everyone else uses that on a Friday. It'd just be nice sometimes to rock up with a clean truck already, and then you can go. <laughs> right, another lorry driver has turned up. And uh, he asked me if I reversed in. I said, yeah, I've reversed in, because I don't know exactly what to do. Like, it needs to be on paperwork, really, doesn't it? Like, what to do. Or someone needs to come over to me, or someone needs to tell me on the gate. Because you press the buzzer to come in, it just lifts up, and you go in, and yeah, no one stops you, no one honks their horn to say, stop, let me talk to you, nothing. Anyway, it turns out, I think he works here or something. Because I think now he's jumping on a full lift um, to either A, help me, or go do some stuff somewhere else I'm not sure but he's also now apparently told someone that I'm here so now it's three people now right we have started being tipped now I'll put the net back on as you can see so the net is back on the trailer that's secure would you believe there's now four forklift drivers out here <laughs> anyway we've been waiting outside for them to start so I can put that net on right we are nearly done I think there's only like one or two more left to come off uh, one, two, three, four more left to come off. And then we can um, crack on to Tetbury. I said earlier that I wanted to ideally leave Tetbury by 12 o'clock. Uh, we won't be getting there until 12 o'clock, gone. So it's looking it's looking bad. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we're gonna be under pressure tomorrow to get it um, all done, but we will obviously try our best. Right, we are tits. That's taken a lot longer than I uh, ideally would have wanted, but never mind. Um, just waiting for the paperwork. He's coming over with it now, I think. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Cheers, bud. Unfortunately, they took longer than uh, usual to tip me. I've been here for over an hour. And uh, both times in the past they've tipped me, I've been in and out in sort of half an hour, so not an awful lot I can do about that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you when we get to Tetbury. See you in a bit. Okay, we are now in Tetbury and we are currently getting loaded. Uh, <laughs> there's a situation where when I turned up, there was a walking floor right at the front. Big, massive gap. And then a second walking floor. I've come on around and I got in between them. Oh my God, the dirty look I got from the driver that I just overtaken, because he then overtook me, because he got called in, which I knew he would get called in, because walking floors are goods in, we're goods out. As he overtook me, he gave me a proper, proper dirty look. That guy over there somewhere. <laughs> he obviously thought I was pushing in, um, but there is, there is no pushing in. He's on a walking floor. 
I'm on a flatbed. He's goods in, I'm goods out. He loads one place, I load another. Or he unloads one place. You can't push in. <laughs> but he thought I was. It's one of them places where I could turn up an hour before him. An hour. And um, he could turn up after me and still get let in before me because they may be busy where they're loading, where I need to get to. Um, but oh my God, I walked past him because he was queuing up to get on in. I walked past him and went past the driver window. Said, right, mate. Practically grunted at me. <laughs> anyway, sorry you haven't, Roger warns he works for. Sorry you're having such a bad day, Mush. You've certainly made my day a little bit better. Definitely entertained my day a little bit. <laughs> Okay, here we are, fully loaded. We've got 24 of these on. 24, 12 either side. I'm gonna jump back in the truck now, put destination to the sat-nav because it's not where I thought it was gonna be going. And uh, check the paperwork, see if we can actually deliver it today. Maybe give them a call. Might do that on route, actually. Uh, oh, and we need to get weighed off as well. In the truck we go. Okay, we are loaded, we are weighed. We weigh 42,000 uh, kilograms, or 42 tons. It's uh, someone I know. And um, yeah, we're gonna make our way up there. Current ETA is half past four. Um, we have had to have a break here. Is that car coming up? I think that car is coming up, maybe. Mm, who knows? Um, I have phoned them. And they sort of went through to like a national helpline for the company. So um, they've taken my number, they're gonna call the branch and, and see, I'm gonna get a call back basically. So I'm hoping for a phone call on the way. But I mean, if I can get, if I, if I can get there for flight by five o'clock, it says half past four of the ETA, but if we get caught in traffic and I get there by five and they will tip me at five, I will get there for five. Or I mean, I will go there, even if it is. Like, I will crack on. <laughs> but if they're not going to tip me, then yeah, I'm going to stop and <laughs> get something to eat. I've had nothing to eat today. But um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to wait for a phone call and, and then find out. So I will probably see you when we're up near Chester somewhere. I'm going to park in Chester tonight anyway, so I'll be just around the corner. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me about three miles away from our delivery point in Chester. It's actually kind of the other side of Chester. Um, I don't think it's coming off tonight. The time now is 20 past five. We've got caught up in a lot, and I mean a lot, of traffic. Uh, there was an accident um, just outside Melcourt where we loaded. There was a car upside down on its roof. Um, and then there was, I think, some sort of, I don't know what it was, there was an accident of some sort in Sirencester, just before we got to the 419, there were like five police cars surrounding another car, so I think the police were doing some sort of interception. And then uh, there was accidents and traffic all on the M5, on the M6, we've just been caught in a lot of traffic, mostly the entire way up. Um, to put it this way, I have been driving for four hours and five minutes straight since I left Tetbury. Um, and we are still five minutes away. <laughs> so by the time we get there and done, done some manoeuvring, we're talking like four hours, 15 minutes. So yeah, we need to stop. You might have just mentioned, uh, you might have just realized I said, when we get there, we are driving to our delivery point. I've had a conversation with the bloke on the phone. Unfortunately, he is unable to tip me tonight, but he is going to leave the gates open for me so I can drive on in. And he said he's going to come back later and he's going to close me in. So um, I'm going to be locked in <laughs> throughout the night, uh, which is fine because I can't go anywhere until I'm tipped anyway. So I'm gonna be locked in on site. I'll get the straps undone. And then first thing in the morning, I think he said seven-ish, I double check with him. He's gonna come in and he's gonna unload me. So yeah, not really a lot more I can ask for other than if he comes back, when he comes back later to close the gate, um, if he can then tip me then. But 
I don't think that's going to happen. He said something about having to go take his daughter to uh, brownies or something, uh, scouts, something like that. My daughters go to the same places. I know how it is. Um, you know, daddy duties, innit? So, can't take them away from him. But if he wanted to come back and tip me later on, then I'm not going to say no. So, yeah, we're um, just over a mile and a half away now. We're going to make our way there and park up on site and uh, we can go from there. We might, if we can, we might go for a walk in the nursery. You know? might be nice. Don't know whether we'll be allowed. I'll have to ask him. I don't want to be setting any off, any alarms off, do you know what I mean? Okay, this is going to divide opinions. Here we have a Range Rover blocking lane two. It's a merge in turn. You're supposed to go all the way down the end, merge in. Now I know this is going to upset people, because some people truly believe that you are supposed to just get straight into lane one. Um, that's not the case. Highway code says, merge in. Go down the bottom, you merge in at the last minute. But no, Range Rover guy wants to stop us. No point getting angry about it. You know, in my opinion, I can't say what I think he is. <laughs> but those of you who agree with me, um, you're thinking the same thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the reason I'm in lane two, I didn't realise that this road actually does merge until until pretty much just now. We need to literally take a right in 300 yards. Uh, that is why I'm in the right-hand side lane, because I thought there's a sign there that says uh, Williston right. That's where we're going. And I thought that this lane would, um, uh, sorry, this, yeah, lane two would take me that way, but it appears to be a merge in turn. It's okay. We will follow it all the way to the end, just like you're supposed to. Oh, there is a sign saying unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles, but it is the way we've got to go, as far as I'm concerned. It's literally just a mile down the road. I didn't see another way in on the map. Thank you. Let's see what's unsuitable about this road then, shall we? A lot of the time, you'll see these unsuitable for HGV signs. There's actually nothing unsuitable about the road at all. Sometimes it's just the locals trying to prevent trucks from coming down needlessly. Um, we are delivering. <laughs> um, so, I'm coming down here. It looks like the most direct, safe route. There's been nothing unsuitable yet about this road whatsoever. Whatsoever. Look, it's a bit narrow down here. If you had two trucks passing, I'd, you'd still get two trucks squeezing past. And loads of room. Absolutely loads of room. The worst thing that we're going to have to do is take a, sh a relatively sharp left turn, I think, according to the sat nav. Not the end of the world in terms of turning. Loads of room. What are you talking about? What is unsuitable about that? Nothing. Now, I've already looked on the maps. We've now got to take a right. It's a nice looking house. We've now got to take a relatively tight right hand turn. That's the nursery right in front of us on the right. I am unsure if we can make this right turn or not. Um, but if we carry on going up the road, there is a roundabout. I'm just backing off because this dog is a little bit close to the road and I want to give him a bit of room as I pass. There we go. Just want to give him a little bit of room as I pass. So yeah, if we can't for whatever reason make the right hand turn, we will go straight on, keep going, turn around and round about and come from the other direction. So, um, Taco Graf is honking at me, not honking, flashing at me to take a break because we're on four hours, 15 minutes now. It's giving me my 15 minute warning. Right, so we want to turn right, just here. Can we make this right hand turn? Yeah, I think so. 
We've got to take a wide line, but we should be able to. Oh, look, there's a hair. Nice and wide, because this trailer's going to cut in on this bit here, look. Lovely. Right, we are here. Don't know where they're going to unload us, so I'm... Uh, that's the forklift there. I'm going to try and spin round so I'm facing the right way at least, because I don't like facing the wrong way round. Lovely. Now we're going to drive back up towards the gate and then reverse back down here and stay to one side so that there's more room for other things. Lovely. And there's more of these pallets on this side as well, look. Uh, there's actually loads more on this side, which is making me think maybe I should park on the other side. But then I'd be blocking in the forklift and stuff, so... We're just going to stay on this side for now. Anyway, let's put it on break. We're going to get our break in first and then we'll, uh, we'll undo it later on tonight. But we're here. We're here. Right, I've just remembered. I don't need to put it on break right now. That's just driving time, not working time. So, we're on other work. Uh, let's get these straps off. So yeah, that's what we got on. Four load of them. Like I said, there's uh, one pallet there. But, um... There's even more on the other side, so I reckon I reckon they tip one side, plonk them there, and then get me to move over, and then they take the others off this side and plonk them here. That's what I think. Same address. Lovely. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, get undoing the straps. Just saw someone coming in. Don't know who they are. Might have to say hello. Hello. I don't know if it's a work or what, no idea. Um, it's going to be very quiet here, that's good. Something that uh, modern day drivers have to think about that you wouldn't have had to with back in the day is internet. <laughs> no idea if I've got internet or not, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, if I don't have any internet, it'd be an early night, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, straps are now fully off. And uh, I'll be honest, we're just going for a walk now, being being nosy <laughs> okay it is quarter past six almost and um we are still here straps are fully off i've gone for a walk i've got a toilet just around the corner just used the toilet facilities um yeah i was a little part of me was hoping that he was going to turn up and maybe offload me but i think i mean there are actually lights around here so he might still who knows um i am hopeful i'm not going to uh close my curtains just in case he does uh, decide he's going to take me tonight because if he does that will really benefit me tomorrow but if he doesn't then he doesn't i'm here ready for the morning and anyway, i so i've done the best that i can do as far as i'm concerned and uh yeah we just we just wait now for uh for uh for him to come back but if he's taking his um kid to guides or scouts or whatever if it's anything like mine they don't finish till like quite late like r6 seven o'clock so i can't see him doing it at that sort of time to be honest so we see literally just literally just as i ended that someone's turned up see what they say hello hello how are you i'm good how are you all right all right thank you my wife she's not well very well uh, now i will do that in the morning yeah okay I yeah put the space red and put it here so i might ask you in the morning let me to park there yeah and then we're gonna do it then. Did you want me to park there now? Like when you go? Kind of if you want. It's, it's up to you. you it, we can do it in the morning. Yeah? Yeah. The toilets. Do you want toilets? I've already found them. Okay, <laughs> I went for a little walk. They're just down there on the right, yes, aren't they? Yeah, yes, I went for a little yes. walk. So I've, I've used them yeah. already. <laughs> All right. So you're okay for everything? I'm okay for everything. What time in the morning? Earlier the better, really. Yeah. Something like seven, quarter past seven. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. No worries. So I'll, I'll just, I'll park it across there then in a second. Yeah. As long as there is a room between your trailer and uh, the other trailer, you know, so people can drive through. So cars can get past. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so Small I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, mate. Mm, it's annoying. 
never mind. I um, like I said, I kind of anticipated it was going to be uh, an, an in the morning job, but he's just on the off chance he could tip me tonight. Um, he does say he wants me to move over, basically where we come in before we turn around, park up there, but in a, such a way where I'm not blocking any vehicles from getting behind me. So I will. I'll move in a moment. Hi. <laughs> so. Um, we have moved because he basically said he's going to tip me in a different position. So let me just show you where we are. So now we're parked here. Uh, we've left enough room for vehicles to get through here. They can get past. They can drive on down. And they can get past the trailer on the back end. And uh, it looks like he's going to tip me from one side. So this is all ready for him to tip me right here. He said this is where it's going to go. So uh, I would have been in the wrong place there anyway. It would have been better to park on this side. But it doesn't matter. We've, uh, we're here now. Plenty of room for the cars to get behind me. Just enough cars to get in front of me. In fact, I might go back literally ever so slightly. Yeah, I will go back ever so slightly. And uh, yeah, loads of room. So that is confirmed. It will be a tip in the morning. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna jump back in the truck and I shall see you in the morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is now I don't even know what time it is. It's about half past six in the morning. Yeah, it's uh, just gone half past six in the morning. We woke up at quarter past six. Um, we got dressed, we've done our stuff that we need to do to get ready for the morning. We need to jump out of the truck and do some daily checks in a minute. Uh, obviously, there's no rush because we're not going just yet. The man said he'd be here between seven and quarter past seven. So, um, we got another 15 minutes to 30 minutes before he even turns up. Then he's got to unload me. So uh, we're going to be here for another 45 minutes at least. So in the meantime, I'm going to get my paperwork in order, ready um, to hand in later on today, because obviously today's Friday and we want to go home. So I'm going to do that now, do some paperwork. And then hopefully, um, not too long after that, the bloke will be here and start a us. Okay, it is now 20 past seven. So almost an hour later, um, he's just turned up. So we should be starting very, very soon. Morning, how you doing? Not too bad. Is your wife okay? Yeah, it's good sleep actually. How's your wife? Yeah. Um, yeah, get some rest. Anyway, as you can see, he's here. So um, I think he's gonna get one of his other guys to do it. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna get one of his other guys to do it, which is fine. So we should be, well, depends how quick he is. So I've already got him to sign the paper at the guy. There was a guy standing next to me, he said he was gonna tip me. So I said, ah, so you can sign the paper then, so that's one job done. So he did, he counted it and he signed it. So all that we need to do now is just get the product off. It's, it's yeah, 20 past seven. I ideally wanted to be in Liverpool for eight o'clock, but we're not now. It's probably gonna be more like nine o'clock, so. Uh, time is against us, time is against us. We are tipped, and the time is uh, 10 to 8. So, <clears throat> I mean, all things considered, it isn't too bad. It is, you know, say we turned up at quarter past seven, half past seven, which is when he said he was going to be here, quarter past seven, but he actually turned up at half past seven. So say we turned up at quarter past seven, and we're leaving now at 10 to 8, that would be a good tip. So, yeah, all things considered. Not, uh, not too bad. Right, we come from the left when we come here, but we are going right this time. Because we want to use the tunnel to get to Wales. Uh, not Wales, Wales? To get to, uh, to get to Liverpool. So we've got to go this way to go, is it Wallasey Tunnel? I can't remember what it's called. So we're gonna, we're gonna head this way. It's gonna take us about 35 minutes to get to our uh, collection point, which is high 10 in Bootle, where we're gonna get loaded with mesh, and then hopefully um, high tail it back down to, uh, to Staines. But I do think time is somewhat against us, annoyingly. M53, stay green, stay green, stay green, yes. On the motorway we go, right. We're going to crack on now then, get to our uh, collection point, we'll be there in about half an hour, it's not too shabby. Come on mate, accelerate, we need to join up to, to the highway speed, come on. 
Go, 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 go. Why are we doing 40? I can't go straight into lane two because there's too many vehicles coming, but this uh, little thing here is taking its time to accelerate. Right, we're going to have to get into lane two, I think. There we go. I don't know. Where we're... I know it's loaded, but it's taking its time to accelerate. Never mind. Anyway, we're going to crack on. We're going to uh, head to Liverpool. I shall see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, we are now on uh, Kingsway Tunnel approach. Uh, we should be about to turn up to the toll where we can uh, pay to get under five metres. We are we're less than 4.2. So it takes an extra 20 minutes to go round the long way. So for the sake of 20 minutes and a lot less mileage, we'll just, um, we'll just use these. We've got to use the attended area. It's eight pound for us. I've got to pay on my phone. Indicate left. I've got to go to the orange one, I think. Good morning, Apple Pay please. Pay by Apple Pay. Da, 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 da. No. Da, 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 da. There we go. <laughs> Do you know these yes, yes please, yeah. Lovely, thank you. Have a good day. Handbrake off, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Right, so we're uh, really 20 minutes away now, so um, foot down, let's get there. We'll be there before half past eight, as long as there's no traffic. As long as there's no traffic, we'll be good. Yeah, boy! Under the tunnel we go. That's just, uh, it saved us 20 minutes in time easily. Um, plus also it's eight o'clock, so there's gonna be a lot of rush hour traffic around there as well. So I reckon it's probably cost us a good half an hour, to be honest. We wouldn't have got there until way after nine o'clock. Um, whereas doing that, we're gonna get here 20, well, 25 past eight is our current ETA, so yes. Um, and that's just saving time. That's not taking into consideration the extra fuel it would have cost for those extra um, 30 minutes or so driving so that nine pound is uh, is worth it in terms of time and fuel saved oh and I do get the nine pound back by the way before anyone says it go down as, as an expense I will get it back okay we are now in stains uh, not stains sorry I get my bloody words mixed up we're in bootle and we're next to the Weybridge what happens normally is they load us from this side and then um, we reverse back, get on the way bridge, and then we strap up. You've seen it before. Got a destination to sat now, but four hours and 26 minutes away, which annoyingly means we won't get there in one hit if we were to be here for so long to have a 45 minute break. So we need to make sure we don't have a 45 minute break here, even if I'm here for like two hours. Because we, we just, we, we, we won't make it. There'll be traffic on the way down. We won't make it. So the aim is to have a 15 minute break here. That is the aim. Um, whilst they load me because i'm sat in my cab and doing what i want i'm not i'm not outside i ain't even got outside the truck yet so i'll have a 15 minute break here they load me i strap up put it on overwork while i do that and then i'm going to drive down i think i'm going to go down to um sherwell valley services on the m40 we'll have a half an hour break there i've already got into the sat nav if we stop at sherwell valley services it's three hours and ten minutes away plus we've already done about half an hour's worth of driving today so it should put us just under four hours driving at sherwell valley services we'll have a half an hour break there i might even get the truck washed while we're there i don't know um and then we'll head to um stains now if we were to leave right now um would be there at one o'clock but obviously we need to get loaded here get a break here we need to get a break of sherwell valley services as well so let's just say two hours we are looking at three o'clock which is the calf so it's tight 
it's going to be tight. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. Um, we're, we're crack on there anyway. And even if, even if we turn up at four o'clock, uh, they might not be happy. Um, but they might tip us. I think Kieran said they've tipped at half past three before, but we're a bit really grumpy about it. So I'll just be polite. The good news is it's mesh. Um, so it comes off quite quickly. If it was like rebar, which I have done before, then they need to use the crane. It takes a lot longer. Whereas with the mesh, they just use a forklift. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to sit tight here now. Probably for probably be here for an hour. I would have thought. The time now is uh, twenty to nine. So we we'll see what time it is when I see you in a bit. And we're all strapped up. So we're now going to uh, jump back in the truck, wait for the paperwork to come, and then uh, we can crack on. Uh, it was uh, twenty to nine when we got here. I think it's now twenty past nine. So forty minutes, all things considered. Um, not the end of the world. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, paperwork received. We um, we're now going to crack on. So seatbelt on. Like I said, we're kind of plan to stop at Sherbrooke Valley Services. We need a half an hour break. ETA is two o'clock where we need to be. Obviously, we need half an hour break. So that's our bus two. Plus, we might get held up. So we are looking, I think, at three o'clock, which is the cutoff. So it's always the way. It's always the way that you're going to turn up when the cutoff is there. But hopefully, they will tip us. Hopefully, we will see. But I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll probably see you uh, when we're having our break. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report. We are having a 30 minute break at Norton Kane Services on the M6 toll. Never been in here before. We just uh, filled up with fuel. Can't quite see because I've got cinematic going on. Filled up with fuel behind me and I've just parked here and I was like, do you know what? Let's get a break in here. Trucks can still get past me. It's very quiet. I haven't blocked anyone in before anyone says anything. Um, everyone can get around me. And yeah, we actually only need another minute and uh, we've had a half an hour break and then our time then resets. One of the reasons why I decided to come this way around the M6 is because there was a lot of traffic uh, around Birmingham area on the other side of the M6, as you can see. We would have got caught up in all that and that just would have, you know, taken up a lot of our time, a lot of our time. So I decided to come M6 toll, have a break here. We, I might still, I haven't got, yeah, there is. I might still stop at um, Sherwell Valley, might and I might get a truck wash still. Depends on how we do for time. At the moment, we're looking at half past two arrival. It turns out it was actually half past three is the latest cutoff, half past three. So as long as we get there by half three, we should be fine. So we've got an hour to spare. So I might, I mean, might stop for a truck wash. It depends on traffic, whether we get caught up anymore. Um, we might pop into Chibli services and get a quick truck wash because we kind of have half an hour at the very least to spare. So that's what I'm hoping on doing and hopefully it doesn't bite us in the ass <laughs> later on when we get there but the truck does need a wash and i won't be back until by the time i finish work today it'll be gone seven o'clock i think at night so um if i can get a truck wash done during the day it saves me having to do it tonight or or even on the weekend so we'll see anyway my break should be over now it is so we are going to crack on that was my timer on my phone telling me my break just finished it just cut off the video so i'm gonna head off now and uh, i will see you when well whenever we stop next i'll see you in a bit right we have finally made it to stains we are just around the corner pretty much we've got a couple about well, a mile and a half left to go we're not too far away just watch this car on the left we need to take this a little bit wide to get the trail around lovely let's get this thing off um we i was told that four uh, sorry three o'clock is the cutoff half past three at the latest and we're going to turn up at quarter three so fingers crossed it's all okay uh unless of course there are is another truck in if there's another truck in then uh, there might be an issue let's have a look Sun has decided to uh, to make an appearance as well, which is quite nice. Da, 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 da. Please be clear, please be clear, please be clear, please be clear, please be clear. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, I've lifted my seat up so I can get my hard hat because this is one of those 
places where you've got to wear a hard hat on. Lovely, and the sun is out as we've already discussed, so let's put some sunglasses on. We need the phone, need the paperwork. Right, let's see if we can get this tick. See you in a bit. Just carry on taking the ratchets off, take the straps off, and then um, hopefully they come over to me in a second and start checking me. Oh, you may be wondering, by the way, where's my net? <laughs> uh, the answer is under there. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I've obviously I've got nowhere to put the net, so it's literally underneath all that. Yeah, so the net is literally underneath. Uh, got these two ratchets holding it down. The net is being squashed underneath. Uh, obviously, the net's not going to come off. That's stuck on, so. If anything, it's safer than the straps, isn't it? Strap it down. <laughs> okay, we are tipped. Let's get that engine on. I forgot to put the key in. <laughs> Ignition off, engine on. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're tipped. We put our blue in. Uh, it's still flashing, actually. It might take a while for it to get through the system. And um, back to the yard. ETA back to the yard is 25 to 6 currently. But um, obviously I've got to contend with traffic as well and everything, so might be later, but never mind, we'll get there when we get there. I could do with washing the truck when I get there and getting our blue if I can, so that is what we're going to do. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and see you back in the yard. Right, we're back in the yard. I need to go wash the truck, but there's, um, Matt's currently doing this at the moment. So I'm just signing uh, some paperwork. What's the date today? It's the 8th. 8th of March 24. Put that in my folder. Tacker card downloaded. Lovely. All right. Now we've just got to wait for uh, for the wash to be free and then uh, I can wash my truck. <laughs> right we are done for the day truck is washed um could do just wiping the windscreen quickly um i got an issue with my headlights the main ones on the top the bottom ones work but the top ones keeps blowing a fuse i don't know why i've just just changed some fuses and um every time i change it no matter what value I put in, <laughs> it just pops. So it needs to be looked at. So I've taken the fuse out for now. Everything else works fine. But it's a little bit, a uh, little bit frustrating. Anyway, let's uh, walk to the car. All right, let's lock the truck. Everything's good. By the way, it did get washed. I say, uh, I say I washed it, but I didn't. <laughs> it's a team effort. So. Uh, so she's nice and clean, ready for uh, for Monday. Don't actually know what I'm doing for Monday yet, but uh, the truck will be nice and clean, ready for when we start. I don't know what I've done to my ankle, my other ankle now. I, I obviously injured my left ankle a few weeks ago, and I actually hurt that this morning, and uh, that's fine now. But now my, now my other ankles were hurting. I don't know why. I got twisted it somehow. But I'll just keep walking on it, it'll be fine. Need to lose weight, I'm trying. I'm trying to lose weight. Stay tuned on that. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, here she is. I got um custom lights on the back. It does like a little dance sequence when you turn it on. Yeah. It's breathing. Right. Let's throw you over there. In we go. Oh, dairy, dairy, dairy me. Get the engine on. 
Anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you want to help me out even more, please do leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, press the bell button so you know when I've uploaded every time. I've also got a second channel, it's called More Luke C, so if you want to watch that, feel free. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well, Luke C and HGV. I'm trying to get that up as much as I can. I'm on 30,000 at the moment, which is pretty good, pretty good. I've been at it like six months, pretty much. Not long, really. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for coming along with me on today's journey. Bye-bye.